Hey guys, D-Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'm just gonna sit back and let you enjoy this music for a moment. Every time that you complete a world, it adds a little bit of the symphony to Starship Mario. And let's face it, that's amazing. So you have a little bit of like a drum kick at the beginning and some strings instead of the flute. So I think it's really nice and it just gets better and better. It's probably one of my favorite parts of this game is the kind of building musicality of the theme. So last time we finished off the big bad Bowser, but had a little bit of trouble in Cosmic Cove. So we're going to go back. We've got some work to do. I did do myself a little testy test and I was able to successfully conquer the area that I got stuck in. I don't know what caused that. Now my one concern is that I'm going to say that now, in advance, and I'm going to be very confident about the fact that I was able to do it, and then I'm not going to be able to do it now. So, anxiety at a thousand percent, butthole at full clench. I just get nervous when I'm just trying to perform, you know? Sometimes, you know, I just can't get up the... get, get away from that fear that I'm just going to disappoint you guys, you know? No, I'm just kidding. But the reality of the situation is I don't know what caused that. I still don't know what caused that. If I did something wrong or if the game itself was just being weird. Because there it is. First try. Literally. Don't know what in the good gosh dang I did to cause the game to malfunction as such. What is over here? What are you doing? Oh, okay. Whenever you're next to a switch. What if I'm not? Actually, I am next to my switch. It's sitting on the table next to me. Incredible. How'd they know that? I don't want to hit it. I spent good money on it. Okay, so... I don't really know... Okay. I don't know if... Any of this is intentional or if I need to do anything or if it's just the game teaching me more about swimming mechanics. Okay, you have nothing to say. That's probably for the best. Let's just get this over with. Had enough of you penguins. Oh, here it is. Just be careful, they say. I need to somehow eventually wind up improving my setup for recording because the table that I'm at is roughly at waist level when I'm sitting. And my sensor bar is on said table. So I have to kind of like awkwardly lift my arms to play. But that's okay. Viewers are probably like, quit your complaining, D-Mike. You get to enjoy Super Mario Galaxy 2 in HD. What could possibly be better than that? And honestly, viewers, I don't know what to tell you. But this little area is kind of neat. These weird kind of ethereal looking jellyfish. I don't really know how logically any of this makes sense, but then again, if you try to think about that too hard, you're probably wasting your precious brain nuggets. I wouldn't do it. Oh, oof, that was close. I have no idea what that sound is though. I hear like this weird rattling in the background. I'm, I'm assuming that's the game and not me doing something wrong. It's actually my computer catching on fire. I have no clue. But I have a feeling this mechanic is going to come back and uh, make more of a drastic appearance. Things just keep going and going. So we'll long jump into it. This weird, what I assume to be a rounded off water cube. Pretty neat looking though. Not super challenging, but I think this is more of the introduction to this mechanic. I'm pretty sure it is a thing that... Okay. <laughs> I was like, am I going to be able to get out of there? I'm pretty sure this is the introduction to it being utilized later. Also, a star of star bits, and we love that. We almost have 100. If you can get about 100 star bits in a level, you're doing pretty well. 
Let's see if there's any more here that we can poach before we leave. Almost exactly 100. I don't know why they chose 8. Maybe because it's 8 points of a star? I don't know. Or 5? I don't know how many points a star has. 5? 8? I don't know. It doesn't matter. No way. It was the humidity that was that was dealing with him. Or that was hurting him. Maybe that Luma is actually my dad. Okay. It's so gosh dang humid in here. Oh look, it's Captain Toad again. Captain Toad does not like the frostiness that we've caused. But thankfully, he helps us find the direction of the star, because we never would have been able to, to do that without him. But before we do that, we have a little bit more work to do. We have these weird electric enemies. I don't remember what their names are called. Oops. Can't dig through that. We got a little bit more time with Spin Dig Mario. Little pockets of earth here. I don't really know where it hopes I'm supposed to go, but I'm just going to follow the game's lead and try every spot I can. Apparently it's so hard that we can't even dig down there. Who knows what we'll find on the other side. Yeah, this is fun, right? <laughs> this is enjoyable. To watch, to play, to do this over and over again. I feel like I was really close that time. Looks like it's maybe the middle of this. Is that it? There it goes. Wow, game, thank you for that. What a wonderful experience. Now I think these guys... Can I kill them? All right. So I believe one of them has a key and I need, or something. And I need to destroy them, end their existence so I can be successful. And sometimes in life, you just have to destroy everybody around you to be successful. That's how capitalism works. So don't you forget it. There it is. He's in one episode, wow. Yeah, this starts a little bit longer than I would have liked. And I really feel like I kind of did everything in, as the way it was intended. Oops, that's not how you do that. Oh! We have engaged in fracking. And flooded the world. Oops, better grab two of every animal. If that is that, we're done. Woo, put a bow on it. I love six minute stars. Most of them are pretty quick, especially the bonus stars, like the coin lumas, the hungry lumas, all of those. So you can knock out quite a few in record time. And we've acquired a sassy penguin. That's not like that'd be a good name for uh, like a cocktail bar. Hey, you want to go to the sassy penguin this weekend? They are pretty sassy. Let's go talk to them. Hello? A lot of penguins don't know that. Okay, well, maybe your species needs to step its game up. Because we learned it, and we're not even... And we exist, unlike you, so... Okay, so let's go ahead and zoom out. Ooh, there we go. World 3 awaits us. Nope. World 3 awaits us. Here we go. We've got two new galaxies to explore today. We went to the bottom last time, so we'll go to the top this- or did we go to the top last time? Well, anyway, I already clicked on it, so we're doing it. I think this is- I think I did the top one last time too because of Fluzzard. Oops. Oops. My bad. No apologies though, because we've got the flotatious blimp fruit. I bet you can guess who's going to be enjoying some fruit. And it's not me. Unless it's pineapple or strawberry or banana or raspberry. But I don't casually have access to those. Yes. So, unfortunately, I will not be eating them. I would, though, if someone was like, hey, I have this. Do you want it? And I would say, okay. Treetop. Ooh, there's a bonus over here. Before we check out that blue orb. Let's go ahead and kill some piranhas. Ooh. Okay. 
Actually, should probably be Luma spinning these, not hitting them with my bottoms. Because I want star bits, I don't really care much about coins. They're all useful in a way, but the real prize here are these lives. Oh yeah. What would I do without those? So we have the... What did you say to me? The green one, it likes these. Okay, so if you couldn't have guessed, we're going to be doing some uh, some snacking with our boy Yosh. It turns out that Yoshi is a fan of all kinds of fruits and vegetables. So here we go. This is the new power-up. The blimp berry power up. Oops. That was close. And we'll ride Yoshi and his rotund self all the way to the top. You can still grab the regular berries. Those just make Yoshi poop out star bits, but you know, the real The real soup du jour today are these blueberries. I don't know if oh there's a power shroom up there. I wonder why we'd need something like that. Let's grab it. Let's get him. More on the self-preservation side of things. I'm a pro at Super Mario Galaxy 2, but a little bit of help could sometimes go a long way. I'm not gonna complain. It makes me think there might be a boss fight at the end of this level. Mm -hmm. What do you say, viewers? What do you think? Comment in the area below that you do that. Okay. Gamble cubes! Alright, time to get addicted. Woo, there we go. A star bit. Another star bit and a life. Nailed it. Absolutely crushing that. Oops. We got so excited we forgot how to lay pipe. Okay, so that was exciting, wasn't it? Oop, okay. I totally landed on that Goomba. No, excuse me. You know what? Now you lose your ability to fly. That's your punishment. And I'll take your lunch money. Thank you. All right. So let's hop across those logs like we're playing Frogger. There's a Comet Medal up here. We'll grab that first. Use your tongue. That's good. Now, there's a lot of coins, which leads me to think... Oh, there's star chips. Gross. Which leads me to think that there is potential for a coin Luma to make its appearance in this level. I don't know. But first, star chips. We love those. Oop, okay. Looks like we're gonna have to do a little bit of some dynamic dodging here. Can I grab that? Nope. Well, we don't need it. Oh, get out of here. That was lame. No, Yoshi, no. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, he, oh, he's going. He's... Okay. So, <laughs> apparently that iteration of Yoshi is now dead. It has left the... Oh, no, I didn't want that. I don't know if I can... Oh, if you click Yoshi, if you rub his tummy, it'll slow down. No, stop. <laughs> Alright, we'll just bounce around here for a moment. Guys, this is... This is top tier, uh... Top tier gameplay. Where's the... Oh, the launch star is not too far away. Excellent. No, no, no. <laughs> okay. Guys, it's fine. Don't panic. We're not blowing it. Don't worry. I know it kind of sucks right now, but we'll make it. All right. So it doesn't look like a, like the star is going to be impeded by a boss fight, but we do have a little bit of a, a labyrinth to explore. Not too bad. We're doing great. Like, the best we've ever done. And that feels amazing. Talk about confidence. Also, wow, that viewing angle was horrible. I could not see a thing. All right, let's get rid of this Goomba. And we will grab that berry from the side. Using the tongue really helps to nab it from awkward situations. But apparently you can only do it when you... When you're trying to be cool, was not able to do it there. That was a bit annoying, but that's fine. It's fine. We'll grab the berries along the way. And just butt bump right into that star. How about it? That's two stars. And a comet medal. You are welcome. We're amazing. You're amazing. Okay, so that should be star 
Number 26. We helped our boy Yosh out, have a snack. And we have unlocked a new path. We can't do that yet. Soon. Oh boy. Okay, a little cryptic lubba. Not sure I like what you're, uh, what you're setting me up for here. Let's go and check out the pipe. Where is it? Lubba, where's the pipe? It was by his ear. I wasn't paying attention. There it is. It's kind of nasty. Oh, look at this. No. Absolutely not. Why would you even think that I'd want that, Lubba? Like, clearly you're not paying attention to our relationship, and that hurts. So, you know that I'm not spending my hard-earned money on gambling. I only gamble when it's free. So let's go ahead and wash the bad taste out of our mouths with some Cloudy Court Galaxy. Let's get our head in the clouds. It's a bit of a distraction from Lubba and his gross misunderstanding. Another opportunity to use the cloud power-up, which is always cool. I'm a bit of a fan, if you couldn't tell. It does blow me away. You know, I say that jokingly about other things, but... I do quite enjoy it. Also, as you could tell, you can't land on clouds... unless you're Cloud Mario. So there's a bit of, like, cloudism that's going on here. Not sure how I feel about it. A little disrespectful, but... Can we run under this? Nope. <laughs> No, you cannot. And why would you even think to try? Oops. Okay. We'll try that again. A lot of coins around, but I don't know if I need them. There's also another power shroom, which... My gut instinct always, when I see power shrooms, is that there's a boss fight. But I don't know if that's the case here. I'm going to assume no. But you know what assuming does? Ha! And I did see, ooh, I thought I did see that coin over on the other side. Can I turn the camera around? No, why would you want to do that? Where is it? There it is. Okay, I don't know what this coin is for. More coins. Now, that leads me to think that there's a coin luma, lumen, around here. Somewhere in the atmosphere. And for all you musician, musicians out there, Let's go beat on some drums. You know, that's a, that's a, like, you know, it's just a good way to, like, express your creativity and to kind of just, I don't know. Burn some energy, maybe. Just, you know, beat off the drums and then, you know, have some fun. This is a symbol. I'm not, it's a, it's a symbol for a symbol. Oh, yeah. That was just a guess, but we get a ton of star bits for it. Excuse me? Alright. Yeah, I'm definitely getting coin luma vibes. Yep, and I didn't really get any of them. So we're doing the original star today. I mean, you need 30? Yeah, I only have 9. That's not too unreasonable. Also, is this a hippo? In what, like, Mario lore is there a hippo? I don't know. Okay. Thought that might have given me coins if I needed it, some emergency coins, but no, the game was like, well, you should have gotten them already, you big dummy. So, if you didn't, that's your fault. Some more here, though. So if you needed to top off, go for it. Another bonus. Oh, we can do it as Cloud Mario. Okay, cool. Oh, I thought being floaty would have helped. Oops. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and grab the star bits that are around the outside. We're doing great. No trifecta of lives for us. But I'm gonna have to find another power-up now. Oh, there's more coins here. Yeah, I guess... I'm not really... thinking outside the box here. That's okay. It's time to do an original mission for once, instead of trying to... circumvent... the plan. We're just going to go with the flow today. Go wherever the wind takes us. In this case, up. Up and away. Go down, ride wind. 
You bet. You know I love riding things. So, you know, good suggestion. Oh. Oh boy. Whew, that was close. My goodness. I haven't seen the Comet Metal yet, so I don't know where it is. Maybe somewhere back here? This looks Comet metal -y. Oh, is this just... I don't even know I can get up there. All that for three... I don't know if I... Is there a cloud power up nearby that I'm not going to die because I got that? Oh, boy. Oh, there is. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that was close. Starting to feel the condensation on my skin. All right, where's that comet metal at? I hear the star. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, super uncool. I <laughs> was not ready for that. Okay, lesson learned, I suppose. That was a little traumatic. Getting squeezed like that. You never expect it. You never do. And I also, yeah, like I said, I don't know where the Comet Metal is. So we'll have to search around for it eventually. Anything over here? Nope. I'm always just trying to explore. I'm trying to be a good explorer. One of my favorite things, absolutely, is the uh, the floatiness of the cloud power. I'm a huge fan. And so let's get it as soon as it opens up. Opens its nasty jaws. There it is. Comet metal. All right, we gotta hurry. Not today, ha! <laughs> You're not raining on my parade. I don't think so. All right, and we should be, oops. <laughs> that, that's not it. That is not it, okay. I'm gonna try that again. Whew. That was making me nervous. Okay, so I do believe. Man, I wish it didn't take us back to Starship Mario every time. We've got our head out of the clouds. Okay, that's pretty good. Open up another path, as you'd expect. So we've done top and bottom. We're pretty versatile right now. And we are ready for one final star today. I feel like the four stars is pretty manageable, pretty watchable. We're gonna try Haunty Halls. Gets you around like a nice even 25 to 30 minutes of content unless I am horrible, which is always possible. And you're gonna get two experiences with Yoshi today and him enjoying some tasty treats. A glimmer of bullberry. The gimmick of this level is very cool. And they also use the haunted house music from Super Mario World which used to always really, like, spook me as a kid. Not sure if I'm a believer in ghosts, but... I definitely believed how scared those ghosts made me back then. There's some different ones too, though. You know, those aren't your typical boos. What's over here? Ooh, another bonus. Great. Oh, uh, pumpkin boos Or not pumpkin boos these are pumpkin goombas. The only thing that's kind of annoying is that you have to Luma spin all of them and you have to hit them three times just to get star bits. That's really all I'm after here. I'll live another day. Ooh. It's a long time. I didn't realize it was that long. That's what she's... Okay. So, moving on. So need to keep our eyes peeled for that comet metal, but we're gonna have some disappearing platforms here that we have to navigate. And we don't want to get sucked into the Oh no! <laughs> Man, if only I could have seen that coming. Okay, and as punishment, we're all the way back at the beginning. I should probably be grabbing these while I'm at it. Subsequent trips to galaxies or multiple trips to stars, you know, unless you're a get everything in the first try like me, 
is a good way to gather extra star bits. And you'll need them for them big fat fatty lumas. So don't forget. Yeah, enjoy these tunes. The haunted house tunes are really good. These things are creeping me out. Yeah, whew. I'm not entirely sure what to make of them. Are those supposed to be the ghosts of Octumbus? Ooh. A little bit tighter than I would have preferred, surprisingly. Okay, here we go. That's just coins, don't need that. But there's a life and we want to get that. Want to get, get, get it. Here we go. How many do we have now? 54 lives. I don't know, it's just, it's tough because I play through this and I'm just like, I don't know if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna have enough. And if I don't, how do I, how do I face my viewers? Okay, here we go. I feel like the common metal is probably on one of these, oop, oh no, on one of these platforms here. Maybe, if you run on it long enough. Okay, it does not appear to be. I'm going to dodge these chumps for a moment. I mean, it's definitely got to be on something around here. But where is it? Who knows? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> where is it? Oh, it's right there. Present yourself, Comet Metal. All right. So we've got it, and we're going to run back. Just enough time. Hop in this pipe. And now the game kind of does a bit of a pivot. This is the second half of the level. And another Yoshi power-up. So this Yoshi power-up, the bulb berry, allows you to... light up areas that are otherwise... oof. That are otherwise invisible, so... And as you can see, it slowly decays and you won't be able to see those spots anymore. You can you can lick your berries or you can run into them. Your choice. Oh, this sucks. Nope. No, nope. he's he's after our berries. I'm trying to suck on our berries. Stop. Did not consent to that. Okay, here we go. Moving forward through this weird haunted mansion maybe? Oh no. <laughs> I meant to hit the jump button, and instead I hit nothing. I was like, this looks like, uh... Infinite Death? Alright, here we go. We can hit the right buttons. Struggling a bit. This is what I get for getting up earlier than I intended to today. My brain's all frizzle-frazzled. Oop. Okay, I didn't mean to grab that. I mean, I did, because I love lives, but... Oop. Okay. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what this area is supposed to be. Like, some sort of... That's my guess. Haunted Mansion. Get out of here. Stop trying to kiss up. Alright. So now we'll use the flutter jump. I can hear the star. There. Ooh, and we got some Yoshi hopping to do. There it is. Boop. I wish they'd let Yoshi keep the color that he does when he has the the fruit in him. That'd be fun. But they take that away from us. That's sad. Yeah, Yoshi looked pretty cool. A little jaundice for you. There we go. That's four stars. Another Comet Medal. And some star bits. Well done. And there's a Hungry Luma. And Luigi! Everybody left him behind. Well. So now we do have opportunities to use Luigi in the game. I don't know what triggers this. But you do have the opportunity. Oh, I don't want to talk to you again, Luigi. Stop it. You do have the opportunity to talk to. Stop it! I'm just trying to backflip away from you. Okay. Let's go ahead and deposit our Sturbits with Bank Toad. Yes. We have almost half that amount on us right now. We're, we're high roller. And that should get us a good way, maybe like two thirds of the way to, not two thirds, it should 
the next Hungry Luma should take about two thirds of that. All right, so that's all we've got for the day. Thanks for watching, everybody. I've been D Mike. This has been Super Mario Galaxy 2, and I'll see you next time. Bye.